Today's lesson is brought to you by Blankens. All right, we're going to do section 5-3, medians and altitudes of triangles. Okay, if you don't love this, then you can get out of America. And if you're not in America, you should come to America and then get out if you don't like this section. Okay, so that's the, that's the crappy one. All right, now, medians and altitudes of triangles. First thing you know is the median of a triangle. Median. Okay? M E D I N. That's not right. I'm not a spelling teacher. All right? Now, median of a triangle. Anybody know what a median is in real life? Um, yeah, it's the middle of the road. That thing in the middle of the road that you have to pass people on is dotted. That's called the median. It's in the middle. Guess what the median of a triangle is? Uh, one guess, middle. Okay? So, I'm going to draw a triangle. I'm out of breath. I'm so excited about this lesson. All right? Median means it goes from an angle and hits the exact middle of one of the, of the opposite side. That's the median of a triangle. That's the median of a triangle. It's my birthday. What did you get me? Nothing. Go buy me some sheetrock. All right? Now, if you connect all the medians, guess what? There's going to be a point of concurrency. Let's see. This is the midpoint, so therefore that's the middle of middle. Uh, let's see. That's got to be the midpoint right there, right? One, two, three, right there, there. So, shh. Okay, now, obviously I didn't draw very well, but if I had, they would all hit perfectly right there in the middle, which they do anyways. <laughs> Did I mess up? No. All right. Now, medians hit, their point of concurrency is called the centroid. Yeah. Centroid. That's that point. That's what that's called where they hit. It's called the centroid of the triangle. That only applies to when the medians hit. Now, this is the way I like to remember centroid. Okay? Centroid sounds like it was something straight off of a Transformers movie. Transformers turn into cars and they drive on the road where they cross the median. Median, Transformers, centroid. That's Mario and Transformers mixed. <laughs> okay, so, centroid of the triangle. Now, you need to know some facts, okay? Because we learned facts last section. Okay, so the fact you're going to learn now. All right, here's a little fact, a fun fact. This line right here, say this is A, B, right here, that median, okay? That centroid, that cuts it two-thirds of the way through. Like this is two-thirds of that whole line from there to there, and that's one-third from there to there, okay? Which means like, say I said the whole line was nine. This would be six, and this would be three. Okay, does that make sense? Sure, probably not. So I'm going to explain it better. This is the way I like to explain it. Okay? Now, let's say, say you know the whole line is 12. Say I said, well, little AB is 12. All right, find a, um, M. And I said find AM from there to there. This is what you do. Cut it into three, cut this number into three sections. This is the easy way I found to do it. Cut it into three sections. How can you cut 12 into three sections? You just divide it by three. And you would get four, four, and four. Now, I said up here, you can tell it's the longer one, but it's always from the angle to the centroid. But you can also just look and say it's the longer one. The longer one is two thirds. Pick up two of these. Four and four is how much? Eight. Okay, so that's eight. And that one fourth has to be four. Okay, let's do another example. Um, okay, the same thing applies. Even though I'm not like I've been using AB, I could do this. Watch. Uh, let's make this T and R. <laughs> Look, Tar. That's the first of my name. It's also on a road. Okay. <laughs> from the angle to the centroid is still two thirds. Two thirds, and then from there is there. Okay, so that whole median. Let's say I was like, hey, guess what? This is 10. No, this is, oh goodness, this is 10 right here. From there, T to M is 10. And I need to find the whole thing. This is still cut into three sections. So I'm like, I got one, two, three sections. These all have to be the same number, okay? Because I'm cutting this thing evenly. Now, 10, that's two thirds of it. If you cut 10 into two thirds, putting in the two part, what's 10 cut in half? Five and five. What does this have to be? Five. So the whole thing right here is 15. 
which means that's 10 and that's 5. All right? Does that make any sense at all? Okay, good. Oh, I'm so worried. All right, if, you don't, if that's not a good enough explanation, ask your real teacher. If I'm your real teacher, ask someone else. Ask somebody. Don't cheat, though, silly. All right, so we did medians. Okay, the chapter was medians and altitudes, and I don't want to jip you all out of the sequel. So let's talk about altitudes. Anybody, we heard medians in real life is the middle of the road, okay? And then medians turned out to be the middle of the road. All right, now, altitude, altitude. Now, I'm sure you've probably heard altitude in real life as well, okay? Altitudes you've probably heard in dealing with planes or how high you are in the air, okay? If a plane's flying, like Oceanic 815 is up in here, all right? If they want to measure the altitude, altitude they'll go, Altitude is 480,000 feet. I don't know how high it is. Uh, Six billion feet tall. All right? When they measure altitude of a plane, they don't like, like that's how high they are off the ground. But when they measure it, they don't like do a little zigzag. They don't like write their name in cursive in the clouds and then go to the ground and then measure that. They don't go diagonally to Mount Everest. Okay? Where do they go? They go straight down. Straight to the ground to measure the altitude. Okay? Which is, makes what kind of degree angle? Oh my goodness, a 90 degree angle, okay? That's exactly what it makes. So, by the same token, in an altitude of a triangle, it is gonna make a right angle, okay? It's gonna make a right angle from the angle to the opposite side. Let's see, I'm just gonna worry about going down and making a right angle. Boom, right there. This one, it looks like I'm gonna have to go straight across here. I think I'm going to have to, oh crud, I'm sorry, I don't know what I was doing right there, that was silly. Okay, now I need to make a right angle up here. Looks like it's going to be like right there. Is that a right angle? I don't know. And then we'll have to make this one a right angle. Okay, that right there is the point of concurrency. Now, the, in a minute, I'm almost done. Okay, got it. Uh, now, let me do a different triangle. Okay, that was altitudes, great, whatever. I want to do one where it's not going to be so great. So I'm going to draw an obtuse one. Now, I'm going to draw all the perpendicular bisectors. Okay? Not the perpendicular, I'm sorry. All the altitudes. This right here is 90 degrees. That's altitude from this angle to here. Okay? Now, let's see. I can fill that in, sorry. Now, I gotta go from this angle to this side. It's gonna be, goodness gracious. Okay, it's gonna be like this. Is that, that don't look right, does it? My goodness gracious, I'm awful at this. Thank you for the awkward silence, though. That's really nice. I'm going to do this one first. See, sometimes you have to extend lines on this if it doesn't work. See this one? It's going to go... That's perpendicular to that. That's perpendicular to the opposite side. I had to extend this line. That's why I wanted to draw an obtuse angle, because I knew that would be weird. All right, and then this one, probably going to come down somewhere like that. Okay? Gosh, this is awful. I have a horrible artist. All right, but where they all cross, that point of concurrency in where the altitudes cross is called the ortho center. Ortho center. That's where they all cross. I know that looks like a big mess of cat poop, but that's what it's supposed to be, okay? Altitudes go from the angle and are perpendicular to the opposite side, even if you have to extend the opposite side, okay? All right, does it make sense? Cool. Medians go from an angle to the midpoint of the opposite side. Altitudes go from the angle and are perpendicular to the opposite side. I'm done talking because I'm screwing everything up.